Hello, my name is Jay and I'm a student nurse from U of D and I'll be doing your assessment today. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, and um, so what's your name? My name's Sam. And uh, your date of birth? It's November 23rd, 1983. And uh, do you know where are you today? Second floor of the University of Detroit Mercy. So the patient is uh, alert and oriented times four and um, okay. Um, do you have any allergies? Just sulfur medication. Okay, are you in pain right now? No. Okay, and uh, what brought you here today? Just a routine checkup. Okay, and after that I'm going to start with the general survey. The patient looks well groomed, neat and clean. He's dressed appropriate for the occasion and uh, um, he looks well nourished. I don't see any signs of illness or anything like that. Um, I don't. I don't smell any body odors or any smell from his breath while he was talking. Um, moving on to the, moving on to the uh, hair skin and nails. I'm looking for the hair growth, which is uniform, texture is nice and smooth. There's no signs of alopecia or anything like that. Um, I'm checking for temperature, moisture. I'm also checking for any lesions any discontinuation of the skin, any signs of erythema, cyanosis, or any pallor, any jaundice. Um, I don't see any, I don't see any nearby. Do you have any nearby? Uh, no. And if the patient doesn't have any nearby, I, will, I would have checked if there was nearby, I would have checked for A, B, C, D, E, uh, asymmetry, border, um, color, diameter, and evolution. And uh, I'm going to check for nails now. Nails are nails are nice color, pink in color. There's no uh, pits or any grooves like that. Um, capillary refill is good. It comes in instantaneously in two seconds. Um, that was a uh, skin. Um, okay, moving on to the head, skull. I'm going to inspect. The size, shape, and symmetry, which is uniform. I'm going to inspect for any lesions or masses, anything like that. Uh, there's no lesions or masses found. Um, after that, I'm going to check for cranial nerve number five. Can you close your eyes and tell me where do I touch you? Right cheek, left cheek, forehead. Okay, can you clench your jaw? Can you clench your teeth? Okay, that's the test for cranial nerve number five. For cranial nerve, nerve number seven, can you smile? Okay. Um, can you frown? Can you raise your eyebrows? Puff your cheeks? Okay, that's uh, facial facial nerve number seven. And um, after that, I'm going to move to the eyes. I'm looking for the eyebrows, eyelashes, for any scaling. Um, and then after that, I'm going to look for the color of the iris, uh, color of the sclera, which is white. Um, there's no jaundice or anything like that. Uh, pupil, both pupil are equal in size and uh, black in color. Um, and now I'm going to check uh, for uh, his vision. Um, let me give you this uh, Snell and chat. This is optic nerve number two. I'm going to check his visual acuity. Uh, can you hold that arm's length and uh, read the lowest line possible? B R D A J. Yeah, can you close the other eye and uh, now do that? B R D A J. Okay, and I will uh, document his uh, vision. Um, that was for optic nerve number two. Okay, now I'm going to do um, check for the extraocular movements for cranial nerve number two. Nerve number three, four, six. Can you follow this uh, panel light? Sure. Very good. For cranial nerve number three, it's this way, this way, and this way. And for cranial number six was um, to the sides, when it goes to the sides, and number, nerve number four is when he's looking down. So it was pretty good. Uh, three, four, six. Um, um, now I'm going to check for um, pupillary light reflex. I will dim the lights, but uh, I cannot dim the lights here, I guess. Uh, 
okay and I'm going to check for the pupillary reconstriction it's in both eyes um, both, uh, both the pupils constrict uh, at the same time I'm going to also check for the accommodation can you focus right here move with it the eyes are accommodating the pupils are constricting um, that's it for eyes um, and from eyes I'm going to move to the nose I'm checking the size and shape of the nose the bridge is pretty straight there's no signs of any broken nose or anything um, can you close your left ear and breathe through the right one can you do the opposite now ok that's I'm checking for the patency of the nerves um, from um, and I'm also going to check for the sinuses let me know if that hurts anywhere it doesn't ok and uh, from here from the nose I'm going to move to the ears I'm checking for the size shape and symmetry both ears look equal in shape um, I'm going to palpate the article let me know if, uh, let me know if it, that hurts anywhere or something it doesn't ok I'm going to look into the external ear canal for any foreign bodies or any fluid ok now I'm going to check for a hearing test whisper test can you close your left ear mm -hmm. and I'm going to say something and just tell me fire truck fire truck ok that's pretty good can you close the other ear now mm -hmm. Lighthouse. That's pretty good. That was uh, the hearing test. From here, I'm going to move to the to the mouth. I'm a, for the mouth, I'm going to check for for the gums, any bleeding for the teeth, any fillings or anything like that, um, any plaque. I'm also going to check for the floor of the mouth, the tongue, um, for the hard palate, soft palate, uvula, tonsils and uh, buccal mucosa can you open your mouth okay I'm out. there's no signs of any lesions or anything like that can you lift your tongue okay can you say ah uh, the uvula goes up which is um which is the test for cranial nerve number 10 and uh, can you stick your tongue out okay that's pretty good that's the um, for um, cranial nerve number 12 the, um, the size of the tonsils was one plus and um, that's it for now. now I'm going to I'm going to go for uh, I'm going to check for um, TMJ joint can you open it up? ok, do it again there's a slight click there's a very slight click uh, which is normal and uh, now I'm going to go for the neck, I'm going to palpate the lymph nodes, preauricular, posterior auricular, occipital, jugular, jugular digastric, and um, superficial cervical chain, deep cervical chain, posterior cervical, supraclavicular, so mandibular, so mental. I didn't, um, I didn't felt any nodes, which is which is pretty normal. That's the way it should be in a normal person. And um, while I'm here, I'm going to listen to his uh, carotid pulse. Just deep, uh, which is steady, full. Okay, which is full and steady. I didn't see any JVD or anything like that. Um, okay. Now I'm going to move to the thorax part. I'm going to inspect his thorax. Um, there's no signs of scoliosis. The patient.